everybody, it's Rick down in Charlotte. It's January 28th, three days before my 58th birthday. You know, somebody asked me the other day, why do I still work so hard? Because I love it, and I'm making a big difference, and I'm getting paid piles and piles of money. I do it for those three reasons. I love it, I'm making a big difference in other people's financial life, and it pays me really, really well. I guarantee you Tom Brady, who's going to be in the Super Bowl next Sunday, is going to do this as long as he plays at a high level. So listen, I was talking to a young man yesterday, and he says, wow, you're so tough, you're so intense, you yell at people. Let me tell you a secret. If you want to get paid, you got to be directed. Being directed means you have a director or a boss or a coach, and if he's a good one, he's going to yell at you and hold you accountable. That's what it takes to go to the next level. You gotta take a butt chewing with a smile on your face and you gotta make changes. You know, we've been studying the book Chop Wood, Carry Water. I hope you all ordered the book and it's about doing the basics forever. Doing the basics. In this book, they have no heat and they have no running water. So they have to chop wood five hours a day and have to carry buckets of water into the monastery. Those are the basics. Those are not the big things. Those are the basic things going to the gym twice a week, eating four meals a day, getting 80 hours of sleep, having a printed schedule every single day, being organized and neat. These are the chop wood and carry water for me to be able to do my business. Now the big things for me is I make 30 outbound calls a day. Every single day, I make 30 outbound calls with a lot of people. That's current clients, past clients, employees. I make a lot of outbound calls to a lot of people every day that's why I make a lot of money. I'm not talented, I'm a hard worker. Most of you are relying too much on your talent and you're not working hard enough. So I'm gonna tell you this, you're gonna knuckle down this year in the real estate lending business, the market's already compressed. I'm already, my revenue is way down in December and January, I gotta knuckle down, I gotta go to work. I don't care that there's snow on the ground, I don't care it's cold outside, I gotta make more phone calls. So I'm making 30 outbound calls a day, I'm intense on every call and I focus on bringing a value. You got to bring some value to every video, every call, everything you do. So I love what I do. I'm going to do it for a long time. If you're in my program, I guarantee I'm going to yell at you because you're going to piss me off because you can do better. I yell at people because they can do better. They can make more calls. They can make more money. They can get in better shape. They can save more money in the bank. They can invest wiser in the stock market. They can give more money to charity. You know, for Christmas, one of my guys came to me and said he knew of a school where the kids were super broke and they were all on like assisted living and they weren't doing anything for Christmas. He asked me if I wanted to take care of some kids. I said, how many kids in the class? He said, 25. I gave $2,500 and I bought them all presents. And I got these letters from all these little kids and they've all decorated these cards. There's a lot of people out there that don't have nothing. And we have a lot. The haves take care of the have-nots. The government ain't gonna take care of nobody. The rich people's gonna take care of everybody. So you get off your butt and you go get rich and you start being more generous and you take care of other people in this world. I don't care if you're taking care of your relatives, your friends, your community, your church, charity, cancer. We step up and we get it done. You know, I loved J.J. Watt a couple years ago when Houston had the flood and he raised $12 million for relief for the people in that town. He stepped up and took care of his community. I love what Drew Brees does for the Saints. I love what Russell Wilson does for the Seattle Seahawks. There's a lot of great athletes that are blessed and rich that take great care of people. And there's a lot of athletes that do stupid things. I read about athletes all the time, abusing women, or getting drunk, or speeding, or acting foolish. I mean, so there's, I wish we would promote more of the good stories and less of the bad stories. But listen, let's get the whole facts before we make a decision, and let's focus on doing the right thing. Let's focus on every one of us going to work hard every day, going to the gym, taking care of our family, going on good dates with our significant others, going on family day and riding bikes and roller skating and you know do fun things, fun, healthy behaviors. So let's put good things into our life, hard work, exercise, God, family, saving money. Let's put good things in our well so the bucket, when we pull up the bucket, we'll have really good things. And so listen, I want you to have a great week. Remember, I make 30 outbound calls a day. You can make 20. I'm in the gym twice a week. You can be in the gym twice a week. 
I sleep eight hours a night. Some of you need to sleep better. I eat four meals a day. I'm super organized. I have a printed schedule. My stuff is not fancy. My stuff is simple. You've just got to surrender to my authority and you've got to surrender to my process and you've got to go get rich. But that's the greatest word in the English language, surrender. And we all struggle surrendering. So get out there, go get rich, save a lot of money, give a lot of money to the people that don't have anything. That's my message for the week. I want you to have a great week. Rick Ruby, see you later. Out!